Some pictures undoubtedly stir you up with a multitude of feelings, and today we're presenting you with 20 vintage photos that you can't unsee, and I do not doubt that the 18th image will shock you. Have you played a chess game where the pieces are human? In 1924, Leningrad was transformed into a massive chessboard where each chessman at the chessboard was a human, with the Red Army representing the white pieces and the Red Fleet for the black ones. This is the armor of King James II. After the Monmouth Revolt in 1686, James received this Arquebusier armor from London armorer Richard Holden. It consists of a backplate and helmet that is pistol-proof, a carbine-proof breastplate, and a bridal gauntlet. This picture, taken in 1963, represents life before GPS navigation, a directions call center where operators provide directions to customers seeking driving instructions before heading on a vacation. Have you heard of swim mobiles? In the 1960s, portable swimming pools became common in America. It had a length of 30 feet and a rail car with the top removed. In this picture, we can see the mechanism of human facial expression, a scientific and artistic work on how the muscles of the face form distinct expressions, was published in 1862 by French neurologist Guillaume Benjamin Amand Duchesne de Boulogne. The Canadian snowstorm mask was a plastic cone made to protect the face from snowfall. Although the hound skull like design is odd and striking, it was helpful for shot journeys in preparing for nature's violent surge. She is Hannah Stilly, widely recognized as most likely the oldest person ever to have been captured on camera. The photo was taken in 1840, almost 94 years after her birth in about 1746. You're watching the only known photo of a living quagga at the London Zoo taken in 1870. They were ruthlessly hunted by colonists and became extinct. Here is the epitome of beauty, Princess Diana's portrait, taken soon after she married Prince Charles, is one of a handful of unique items put up for auction. Till now you've only seen the ones that are close to the special, now it's time for the ones that are beyond your imagination. This will amaze one's mind as seeing the star doing the dishes. It consists of Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney washing the dishes. The RMS Titanic was last seen on the ocean surface in this shot. It was photographed at Crosshaven, Ireland during the maiden voyage shortly after the ship left Queenstown where it had halted before sailing westwards for New York. In the summer of 1939, David Rothman and Albert Einstein posed on this rock in Horseshoe Cove near Nassau Point. Long Island was just a location to have fun for Einstein instead of making theories. And this is the picture of his study on the day of his death, 18th April 1955 the day Ali saved a man's life. On January 19, 1981, in Los Angeles, Muhammad Ali leans out of a high-rise window and communicates with a man who makes a threat to jump from the window. The two technology leaders are in a single frame. Steve Jobs and Bill Gates discuss the future of the PC in their first collaborative interview with Fortune magazine. And this is a mugshot from the day Microsoft founder was detained for disobeying a stop sign and operating a vehicle without license in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 1977. Here you can see the expression of complete satisfaction, pride and amazement, which is merely a proof of how far humanity has come. Just after Armstrong returned to the spacecraft and took off his helmet, Aldrin took this picture of the tearful astronaut. This one is sad as well as an evolutionary picture. The Soviet Union launched Sputnik 2 on November 3, 1957 and made history by sending a dog named Laika as the first living thing to circle the Earth. Laika's flights, which aimed to test the security of human space travel, turned out to be a one-way trip. It depicts the renowned author Mark Twain working with Nikola Tesla's lab, another notable writer of the 19th century. The University of Virginia claims that the image was captured in the spring of 1894. In Sweden, it was a typical Sunday in September 1967, but for the upcoming necessity of every driver to alter the way they operated their vehicles. Traffic began using the right side of the road at 5 a.m. instead of the left. And that's for today. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel for more and we'll see you at the next one.